Good morning and welcome to morning prayer. My name is Steve and I serve on the chaplaincy team here at Crowhurst Christian Healing Centre. We're sharing a week of Thanksgiving which began on Saturday the 4th of July with our Thanksgiving Day. And each day this week a particular theme will be picked up that we may continue our thanksgiving for the work of God uh, during this past year. In a moment I will read three verses from Scripture and um, I invite you to uh, read them with me. The words will be on the screen. Following that I'll introduce the theme for each day and there will be a particular focus on the work of God in that particular theme. After that, there will be a piece of music called Before the Captain of Hosts, and that will be a time of three minutes for you to give your own thanks um, in your own words as the Spirit leads. Then we'll finish with a blessing. Thank you for joining me, and may the Lord bless this time of thanksgiving by His presence and his power, and may we bless him with our grateful hearts. I will praise the name of God with singing. I will magnify him with thanksgiving. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, the Lord's name is to be praised. I will give thanks to you, Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all your wonderful works. It's Tuesday of Thanksgiving week. And the theme that we are focusing on today is the crown of God's creation, people. And we said yesterday that God calls people here, he draws people here. And God has for over nine decades called people here who he has chosen to serve him. And so we give thanks to God for the people that God has called here. We give thanks to God for James Moore Hickson and for his uh, following his prompt to pray for Howard Cobb. And we thank you, Almighty God, for Howard and May Cobb and for their following your call to come here and start a ministry. And we thank you for the hundreds of people who followed in their footsteps and heard the, the call of the Lord, followed the prompt of the Spirit and came here to serve you. We thank you, Father, for all those who have served here in the past year, for each one, Lord, each one special, each one with their own gifts, each one with their own talents. Thank you, Almighty God, for the way we see you manifest in them, for the way we see you working out your purpose in them, your purpose through them, and your purpose with them and us. We thank you, Almighty God, for the, the blossoming of the fruit of the Spirit that we see in each of those folk who are called here and who serve here at this time. 
We thank you, Lord, that the, the calling continues and still people are being called to serve you here. Raise up labourers, Lord, those you have planned for the continuation of your work here. Thank you, Lord, above all, for the servant hearts that we see in each of those who have served here in the past year. Thank you, Lord, for the love that we see poured out, for the commitment, for the loyalty, for the faithfulness, for the generosity and for the fun that we see worked out in each of those who have worked here in this past year and who are working here now. Thank you, Lord, for the past champions of the Kingdom of God who have served you here. And Lord, we ask that you would hold each one, bless each one, protect each one in their coming and their going. Thank you, particularly Lord, for the, the work of our trustees, for the work of our prayer partners, for the work of our prayer ministers, for all those who volunteer here. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Take time now before the Captain of Hosts to give thanks to God in your own words as the Spirit leads.
Shema Israel. Adonai Elohinu Adonai Echad. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And you should love your neighbor as yourself. Finally, friends, fix your minds on things that are true, awesome, right, pure, lovely or admirable. If anything is excellent or worthy of praise, think on these things. The things you have learned, received, heard and seen from God's word, do. And the God of peace will surely be with you.